Have you seen the Kristen Wiig Target Lady Target ads? So I hadn't until you showed them to me. Okay. And I also hadn't seen the original, you know, bit that she had done. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. Uh-huh. If you know, all you got to do is YouTube Kristen Wiig Target Lady. Right. And her Target Lady from SNL was this sort of creepy, freaky gal check her at Target mm-hmm. who would pronounce Target Target. Right. Right. Like almost like she was saying tear duct. Uh huh. Only duct was backwards, and, <laughs> and and she would really you know creepily comment on Mm -hmm. the purchases people were making right well target now a decade later has said hey let's uh we need something yeah let's put Kristen wig who also guest hosted uh saturday night live this past week oh nice good for her let's put her in the in these new ads yeah which again you can fight it or you can rock out to it man unfortunately it falls flat for me Right. I, I'm not Siskel or Ebert. I do yeah. have two thumbs though. <laughs> and I point them both down for this one because it just, it falls flat. It's first of all, she doesn't do the target lady. She does this watered down for corporate America, lame, tame version of the target mm-hmm. lady character. Right. Love Kristen Wiig. Right. Don't get me wrong. How can you not? She's hilarious. Yeah. But they should have gone all the way with it. Mm-hmm. Let her be the weird target lady. Right. But I mean, I guess that's not a great advertisement for Target, is it? Or wouldn't it be? I mean, yeah. Well, I guess if people didn't know it was a bit, you know, if people didn't understand where it came from. Right. Because you know, I know our, we have a short memory in right. this pop culture country. And they were like, why would Target be advertising that their cashiers are going to treat me like this? <laughs> right. You know? She does ask a lot if they're using their Circle app today. Right. I guess, can you get extra savings if you have the I guess. Circle you app? know, as a white woman, I really should know that off you the top of my that. head, but I don't. Ultimately, though, with, with the um, constructive, I feel, criticism that we have offered here today, I also want to mention, way to go, Target. Mm-hmm. You, you hit the zeitgeist in February with your Stanley mm-hmm. Cups. Right. And in April with these ads. Yeah. Yeah, so, they're really on it. And realistically, dude, Target, they're always just going to be the best. Like, everyone loves Target. Everybody loves Target. Yeah, especially, yeah. especially moms. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but they just, well, not just any moms, too. MILFs. <laughs> <laughs> you know? MILFs love a good Target, man. <laughs> I have been to a Target on a weekday. Yeah. And I'm not going to completely argue with you there. Right, right. Yeah. You know, the one time I got followed around Not for Target, that reason. <laughs> You did? I did. You got creeped on? I did. I totally oh. did. So I went in to get some uh, school supplies for college and stuff. And I was just kind of looking around and like through my periphery, I saw this like older guy walk past me and like sort of stop and look at me and then like keep going. But it was just very obvious he was looking at me and I was like, okay, that's weird. Whatever. Well, was it a, a and I'm going to put this in finger quotes, crime of opportunity? I kind of think Was he so. just sort of staring off into space and you crossed his path? No, no, no. I was in the aisle. Or was he, he was, tracking you? He and was tracking me. And okay, here's how I proved it. Putting stuff away, pretending to not be looking at you. <laughs> here's how I proved it. <laughs> okay. And he was just another customer. He wasn't like someone working there. Right. But basically, I went to another aisle. It happened again. And I was like, that was weird. And then I was like, okay, let's do a little experiment. And I sort of like zipped around the aisles in such a way that it would be really hard to tail me if you were doing it casually. And then I ended up in the makeup section and he walked by and the whole, like, as he was starting to walk by, he was kind of doing that thing where he's like looking around with his, oh. like, you know, his head's kind of on a swivel and he locked onto me and I was like, what is going on? So he was shopping, yeah. just not for anything on the shelves. Right. <laughs> right. And after that, I did the same thing where I made it hard for him to tail me. And then I got up to the front uh, to get checked out before he could find me again was sort of my hope. And then he comes around the corner doing the same thing, looking around for me. And I had already started talking to the cashier and I was like, hey, I'm just feeling really creeped out. Like this guy's being super weird. Can someone walk me out to my car? And right then I'm describing him to her and I'm like, oh, there he is. And he makes eye contact with me right as I point at him. Awkward. And the girl looks around too and he turns tail. Like, you can tell that he looks guilty, you know? I'll tell you, 
You should have been wearing your not a MILF t-shirt. I should have been. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he just wanted to know if you were going to use the Circle app. Yeah, maybe he did. You know what? Maybe he had some questions <laughs> about how it worked. Yeah, well, and honestly- I as need to like, find somebody in the target, target demographic. Right, yeah. As a white woman, he was probably like, she'll, she'll know. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But he had plenty of opportunities to come up and say something and not be a total creep, but he didn't. <laughs> 